we will be showing you the operating process of a model GHDE telemanipulator produced by Central Research Laboratories. X motion is to the left and to the right. This is manual motion uh, input provided by the operator. Y motion moves the manipulator forward and backward. Z motion moves the manipulator up and down. The wrist motions start with azimuth. This rotates the wrist joint around an axis of the slave arm. Elevation rotation uh, pitches the tong up and down. And then twist rotation twists the tong. You also have the ability to open and close the tong by squeezing the handle. Uh, this handle also has a ratchet lock feature, which will hold the tong closed until it is released. To release, you squeeze the trigger, and then you can also lock the trigger in the release position with the thumb screw and that will allow you to operate the tong uh, without the ratchet in use. Now you can hold the, the this ambidextrous handle left or right handed and it operates the same way. You may also use your second hand uh, to assist in squeezing by holding from the top, from the front, from the bottom, uh, however it is uh, most comfortable. Every operator will be slightly different. Uh, for electrical indexing, the operation, uh, make sure that it is plugged in and the e-stop is uh, out and disengaged. Depress the green button when that light is on. It is the indexing is ready. The selection switch is on the bottom of the handle, and that will cycle through the uh, available indexing motions for a GHDE that is X, Y, and Z, and then to activate the motors, there's a trigger on the bottom of the handle that you push forward or back. And forward and back of the trigger will move the slave arm in relation to the master arm. And you can see the indicator lights on the operator control panel will indicate which motion is selected. So Y motion pushing forward will move the slave arm forward in relation to the master arm and pulling back will move it back in relation to the master arm. And the extension or Z indexing, uh, if you push forward, it lowers the manipulator. You pull back on the trigger and it will raise the tong in relation to the handle position. There is a potentiometer on the bottom of the operator control panel which can adjust the speeds of the indexing as well. Uh, an option for a manipulator uh, is also motion locks. 
this manipulator is equipped with X, Y, and Z motion locks. So the X motion lock is the one nearest the operator or furthest from the cell wall. Push forward or push in and it will lock. Y is the one closest to the cell wall and that will lock the Y motion. And you can lock both at the same time to keep the manipulator in place. And then there's also a Z and wrist lock that is the lever that is closest to the window or the hot cell. And you pull that back and it locks motions firmly in place.